Henry, the messenger Cejudo. So here he is, the 2008 Olympic gold medalist in freestyle wrestling, former flyweight world title challenger, Henry Cejudo. He's featured a boxing heavy attack. Well, the promotion has relied on Donald Cowboy Cerrone quite a bit. He's the most active fighter on the roster. He's had a lot of success in two different divisions. But since moving up to the welterweight division, he has been on an absolute tear. Cerrone very much. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Cejudo is 30. Cerrone is 34. He is nine inches taller. He will have a nine-inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's UDC first, fighting out of the blue corner. A Greco-Roman wrestler holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger to who? Boy Tyke Boxer holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the Three octagon four, four, for this ready? one. Let's go, come on. Able to check the high kick. Cerrone gets caught with that punch. Got to show off the defense. He's tagging him. Oh, really doing a nice job timing his shot, staying busy in this round. The Olympic gold medalist Cejudo gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. He landed that punch flush. Oh, this could be it. as he looks to improve position here. He's working from side control. Cerrone gets touched by the elbow there, Joe. He's looking to take the back. Inside control once again. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Half guard. What a brilliant pass. Right into mount. Excellent job. Hip escape. Nice hip escape. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Cerrone. He's taking some big shots on the bottom. Beautiful punch. Donald's giving up his back here. Very dangerous. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Cejudo. Just over two minutes now to go. Nice takedown. Left punch is true. And he's in full guard. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Good punch. Postures up. He's getting off some very nice ground and pound here. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. He's now working from side control again. Five seconds to go here in round one. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Cerrone. Out of nowhere, this choke. This looks very tight. I think he's got it locked up. He might get in here. Look at this. Wow, that was close. And here we 
we see some beautiful submission offense here. Excellent job. Deep breaths, calm down. Very good. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. Second round here. Effective strike there by Cowboy Sonoma. Oh man, look at him now. That one hurt. Nice. Landing a good series of strikes here. Now he goes for the single leg. There's that patented single. Tags him with the left hand. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. There's an elbow from the top by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nice. It looks gone. like he may be attempting a submission here. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. And he got out of the arm ball. Keeps the elbow there. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Cowboy Cerrone. He's flattening him out. Looks like he's looking for a choke. Wants to slide that forearm under the chin to get the choke. Trying to work that arm under the neck for the choke. He's got it. He's got the arm under the neck now. He wants to get it underneath the chin. Gets that bicep on the hand. Gets the other hand on the back of the head. Oh, look at that. Slips right out of it. Full guard. Cejudo gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submission. He's up. Second round, he was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling oh, looked like it did start a little bit. Oh. He's in big trouble. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. He is going after it here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. style of fighting. I don't like it. I don't like when a guy holds a guy down. However, it is effective. Excellent movement here on the ground. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's back to side control. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Cejudo's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there goes the horn. A lot of damage done over those five minutes. Two knockdowns, a big round from Cejudo. Two big knockdowns and a very, very dangerous fight for his opponent. Here we see some beautiful striking and perfect timing on this punch. And here's a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. That was a great round. You got close to the submission there a couple times. I want you to show everybody why you're here. Let's finish that submission. Take an arm, take a neck. Jenny Andrade. Here we go, final round, you ready? You ready? Let's Third go. round underway. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Now he gets the full mount again. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Cowboy Cerrone. He's going to try to take the back. Excellent posture here.
He's moved to full guard. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Another shot. Well, picture-perfect execution there as he lands another takedown. He's already landed several, and this is the story in this one, Joe. His game plan coming in was to get the fight to the ground, and there really hasn't been much resistance for him in doing so. Absolutely. And he's got his back. Staying on top of him. Yeah, stay on top of him. Takes Smush the back, him. now going for the rear naked choke. He's got his back, he's looking for the rear naked choke. From here, what he wants to do is get his forearm. Beautiful job. He's got him flattened out. He's got him flattened out here. From here, he wants to get his forearm underneath the chin. Trying to work that arm under the neck for the choke. He's got it. He's got the arm under the neck now. He wants to get it underneath the chin. He rolls him over. And he got free. That was close. He's in full guard here. Cejudo gets back up again. Well, he left his body wide open there for that hook shot. Show. He paid for it. He is leaning in. I know he's got the guard high. That means the body is exposed, and the opposition took full advantage there. He's in half guard. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Cejudo. And he moves into side control. Excellent ground and pound here, not giving his opponent any breaks. Side control again. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Hard shots to the body being landed on the ground. Trying to spin to the back. Now he's moved back into full guard. Get him, get him! All right, so somehow, some way, he survives to hear that final horn, but he in all likelihood is not gonna have his hand raised here tonight. There should be a clear winner in this one. He knocked his opponent down multiple times in the fight, and you gotta think that's enough to get him the nod from the judges in this one. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Henry the Messenger to Hulu. All right, so there he is, your winner by way of decision, and the celebration is on in the corners. They certainly prioritize the finish coming in, but they will certainly take the win and the accompanying win money as well. Going to be very interesting to see how the matchmakers proceed with this fighter after he gets this big win here tonight.